comments that are asking, what's the point of the cut? Which, I mean, valid point, valid question. So let me kind of elaborate. So if you bulk hard, like actually fucking hard, and I don't mean two months, I mean like you know, four months, five, like that, you'll just get to a point where you kind of have to give yourself a little break from pushing all the food. And then, you know, kind of couple that with the fact that your progress is probably plateaued, you know. It just makes sense that you'd want to just reset yourself for the next bulk. Oh, what do you think this thing is? What do you freaking think this thing is? We're getting OG with it. We're getting back to basics. Oh yeah, nice and fucking sweet. Okay, so by way of jerry-rigging, this fucking cable is broken, but I kind of managed to fucking tie a handle onto it. All I gotta make sure now is that it doesn't fucking come loose on me mid-set. I think I did a decent job. That feels pretty sturdy. I'll just be careful. So instead of, you know, the rope or something, I'll just do these light single-arm pushdowns. I would not want to do all my reps of pressing like those last three, but as partials at the end of a set, and you're just trying to burn out and squeeze that little bit of water out of the towel that is your fucking intended targeted muscle, you know, I say go for it. That's why my hamstring curls, I don't just end them as soon as I can't totally bend my legs, right? I go until I can kind of only move the freaking pad like a couple inches. I'm not going to say that's the greatest way to destroy your muscles, but I think it's not the worst approach. Oh, whatever. So I've noticed kind of a weird habit I have. When I edit these little clips and I re-watch them, I almost feel like I'm like tensing the muscle as I'm watching the set. Like every rep of the bench, I almost like kind of like instinctively like flex my pecs a little bit. Probably some weird shit going on in my mind. But like the longer you lift, you'll just kind of develop a... I guess more of an, oh, I want to say in tunedness with your whole fucking build. Like right now, I can fucking pretty much flex whatever muscle I've got everywhere. Like forearms, triceps, biceps. If I can squeeze my butt on the seat, flex each pec, whatever. And I think, you know, that's sort of like a unspoken skill. I guess it is kind of spoken. We've got the mind-muscle connection everybody brings up. But, you know, the longer you lift, the easier that shit's going to be. And then you'll be able to make your little movements more effective. Right? Okay. All right. One little trick with the barbell curls. I used to not like these at all. They would just wrench my forearms. As I'm doing them, I'm not just doing a curl like this. I'm almost trying to imagine pulling my elbows towards each other as I come up. Something about that particular fucking you just takes all the pressure off my forearms. I can really squeeze the kind of upper outside part of my bicep. So electrolytes are seriously going to get you. So when you see a dude walking around with his gallon jug, he's, he's nearly got the right idea, right? He's close, but just drinking water on its own, you're not totally maximizing your hydration. I sound like a fucking nutritionist. Like, you can't just drink your pure water for hydration, but it, I mean, whatever. So, electrolytes. Let's just go back to the basics with some standing lateral raises. Eh, I'll go a little on the heavier end of the 50s. But not too heavy. Like, I'm not going to sit here and really swing them. Like, you know, I guess... By my logic, I could probably say, you know... It doesn't matter. You should break down your form a little bit just to get that extra bit of tension. But I don't know. Side laterals, reasonable form to good form is probably a better end of the spectrum. Just because there's no need to go that heavy on them, right? Like, it's not like instead of dumbbell curls where I don't mind kind of like a little bit of extra something like that, right? With these, I mean, I do want to be a bit more controlled. <sighs> Hard. 
Days, literal days, enough which I can count on both my hands until this cut is over. And don't think about it as the cut being over, just think about it as the bulk beginning. is always a good freaking day you know not extremely exhausting of a lift plus i just like it honestly i just i like all this shit man you know when people talk about what's your favorite lift i mean they're all different it's like whatever so you know the more that you can kind of wire your brain to get excited about every lift leg day back day chest day whatever right that's gonna do you good i guarantee it so anyway. okay so why would you need a bench for face pulls? Well, let's get into it. For me, when I do standing face pulls, I guess I go over here. I just find that it's just an awkward movement. Like, for me to sit here and do the face pull, I kind of have to stand backwards, balance myself. Then as I pull the weight in, my, my torso's moving. It just doesn't make any sense. I want to be as stable as possible. So the only muscle I have to think about is my rear delts. So instead of standing up and balancing and having my brain send signals to my quads, my abs, everything, I like to just lay down. So all I have to focus on is rear delts. Don't need to worry about balance or anything. So, a little Tekka poppin is gonna carry me through this set of Preacher Easy Bar Curls. It's, well, I mean, it's definitely probably as heavy as I'd wanna go. I'm 35 and a five. You probably don't see me doing any more than a 45 with the easy bar curl on these. It's kind of just unnecessary. Like if I want to load up a lot of weight on a bicep move, I'm more inclined to want to go to like, you know, dumbbell curls or maybe cable curls. I kind of like too. But with a preacher, it's sort of a movement which, I mean, from my perspective, it asks to be done in a very intentional, like thoughtful way. Like with those dumbbell curls, I, I saw one video that was describing like that kind of style of set. They called it a ballistic set, where you just move around as much weight as possible, as quickly as possible. And I guess I didn't really realize that had a name, but whatever, that's kind of what I like doing over there. But now, I want to go a bit slower, really focus on that contraction. You know, really get that burning sensation that we're all in here for. I'm a, I'm a little bit ashamed of those squats. Just not for the squat weight, but just kind of the intensity. That's a good mindset to have, you know, if you ever, notice that you really didn't push yourself too hard right you should take notice of that and try to adjust next time you know i'm not a perfect lifter i don't hit every set with a hundred percent effort every time but i want to right i want to get there so always more to learn and not just in terms of like exercise well exercises or like rep schemes or techniques like you know over time as a lifter you should get a little bit tougher in your mind to be able to push every set as hard as you can and not let the fact that maybe you're a little bit tired or maybe the workout's almost over, you're ready to leave, you gotta cut it short. You know, don't let any of these sort of external factors cut your intensity down from the max. So I'm gonna try to make up for it with a crazy set of leg extensions and then we'll go check the pump.